It's been almost two weeks since U.S. powers were trapped in Niger, an assault that left four American servicemen dead. In the event that it appears like this story hasn't created much in the method for national news, it might be on account of Donald Trump hasn't let out the slightest peep about it. CNN had a report a few days ago on the president's hush. On Saturday, October 7, the day the group of 25-year-old Army Sergeant Law David Johnson was come back to Dover Air Force Base after he was murdered in an ISIS trap in Niger, President Donald Trump was playing golf. It's not known whether the president at any point wanted to go to the arrival of Remain service at Dover as he has before. Be that as it may, since the snare on October 4 in Niger, he has not remarked openly on the deadliest battle occurrence including U.S. troops since he took office. The Pentagon has not given a point-by-point -point bookkeeping of the snare by 50 ISIS subsidiary contenders which left four U.S. officers dead and two injured and has said the occurrence stays under scrutiny. Yet, CNN has conversed with about six U.S. authorities who depict points of interest of the turmoil and disarray which prompted the troops being left on the ground for almost an hour prior to cause could get to the remote range of southwestern Niger where they were working. In reasonableness, the White House hasn't been totally quiet on the issue. Ten days back, a columnist reminded Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the body of another U.S. trooper has recently been found by neighborhood powers in Niger, which conveys to four the aggregate number of Green Berets that were killed on Wednesday in Niger. So far there's been no reaction to this by the president, no tweet from the president, no announcement from the president. Sanders reacted, clearly, whenever one of the individuals from our incredible military are harmed, injured, or slaughtered in real life. That is absolutely something that we consider important. Our considerations and petitions are with those people. We are proceeding to survey and investigate this. What's more, as we have more subtle elements, we'll unquestionably let you folks know. From that point forward, there's been nothing from Trump world on the lethal episode. My point isn't to propose that Republicans should dispatch into a Benghazi-like free-for-all entire with strange fear-inspired notions about the postponements in reacting to the assault on the ground, and seven separate congressional examinations, however when four American servicemen are slaughtered, it's not unreasonable to think the president who routinely tweets arbitrary passing musings would in any event quickly recognize their give up. For sure, one of the peculiarities of Trump's utilization of his stage is the selectivity of his territories of intrigue, even in the wake of savagery. Does the president just stand up on improvements he wants to utilize politically, is politically, 